Hello everyone, I'm j o n g c h e o l Today I want to introduce a new course, Linux cluster on CentOS 6 and 7. In this video, I will introduce Linux cluster course. The goals of the Linux cluster course, I hope that in this course, you will accomplish this kind of goals with five the items. First one, understand the concept of the cluster. It is very important to understand the meaning and concept of the cluster before you start this course. So in chapter one, I will explain this kind of concept. And number two, learn how to manage data storage. Normally, data storage related to the Linux clustering. So you have to understand also data storage. In uh, number three, learn how to set up this cluster. I think number three will be the main point in this course. Using some GUI and command line interface, I will show you how to set up Linux cluster. Number four, how, learn how to manage applications using Linux cluster. If you understand the how and the how to, if you know how to set up this cluster, then Normally, we need to configure the applications using the Linux cluster. Number five, learn the new technology of Linux cluster on CentOS 7.0. If you install the CentOS 7.0, maybe some of the command line related to the Linux cluster will be the different. So, in CentOS 7.0, I will introduce new technology on Linux cluster. Okay, for this course, I prefer for the four part, part one, introduction with the three chapters. So, number one, chapter one, Linux cluster introduction. And the chapter two, data storage introduction. And the chapter three, cluster configuration considerations. And the part two will focus on the cluster configuration from chapter four to chapter 11. So first one, ISCC configuration, chapter five, DM multipass configuration, and chapter six and the chapter seven will focus on cluster configuration with Conga. Conga is a GUI program and CCS is a command line interface. And uh, chapter eight, Fencing and the fate of domain configuration from Conga and the CCS, Quorum and Quorum Disk as well. Chapter 10, the cluster LVM. Chapter 11 will be Global File System 2. Part 3, the will focus on application servers the cluster. So, in this video, I will show you three kinds of applications for clustering service. First one, chapter 12, Samba. Chapter 13, Web Server Cluster with Apache. And chapter 14, the Database Cluster with MySQL. Part 4 will be the Linux Cluster on CentOS 7.0 with uh, three chapters. So here, the cluster using Pacemaker and the cluster using the PCSD. This is a web user interface similar to Conga on CentOS 6.5. And the chapter 17, database, uh, database cluster with MariaDB instead of MySQL. If you install the CentOS 7.0, the default the database system will be MariaDB, not MySQL. So in this chapter, I will introduce how to set up the MariaDB4 database clustering service. But I think the chapters in this part with the three chapters will be the changeable according to the situation. Here, changeable means maybe I'm, I am the considering to add more chapters, especially to focus on the applications. Okay, for this uh, Linux cluster course, I prefer for this kind of the testing lab. So here there are four host manager that uh, chart.com node one, node two, and node three. So these four hosts will use this domain chart.com with 
this kind of IP address. So each host will have the three network interface IP address like this. So especially 192.168.80. Network will be used for the connection with the out, outbound the connection and uh, ETH1 and ETH2. 10.1.1.0 and 10.2.0 network will be used for internal networking between each host. And uh, this kind of the host already the install on VMA Workstation 9 in my case. On the, and the host, the operating system is Windows 7 with 64-bit. And especially the manager.com will the provide the storage service with 300 disk for the storage testing i will use this host and the name service etc host it means each host must know the their ip address and host name using this file etc host not dns so each host must have this information for their internal connection Notice, first one, total number of videos for this course, I will prefer for minimum 12, maximum 14 videos. And the number two, total learning time will be over seven hours. And the number three, operating system up to chapter 14, I will use CentOS 65. But uh, chapter 15 to chapter 17, I will use CentOS 7.0. Number four, all script and files for this course are provided by knowledgepia.com. So if we want to download the script and the file related to the configuration, you can visit this website and need to become a member to use this kind of all materials for this course. And number five, the discourse course will be a paid course worthy of over $3,000 on offline training. It means if we want to study this clustering cost on applying, applying the training course, you have to pay over $3,000. But I'm seeing, but I think, and I'm confident this course will be worth over $3,000 on Applying, applying the training course. I hope that you will become the expert on this clustering on CentOS 6.7 using this video course. Thank you for watching this, this video and God bless you.